Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about what these four playback buttons do in Radio Boss, what purpose they serve and what they do and how to turn them on and off. So these four icons can be found right next to the play, stop or pause button here at the very bottom of Radio Boss. So the very first one is what we like to call the repeat button. So let's say we want to play faded instrumental music and we want it as soon as it's done to pretty much keep playing that same song. We just click it one time and automatically here it says right now on the air we have faded instrumental music and coming up next faded instrumental music. So I'm going to right click here and so it pretty much finishes up the song. We've got five seconds left and just like that when it finishes the song starts up again and here we see last track faded instrumental music the on the air and the coming up next. So the very first icon what it does it just repeats the track that you're playing. Let's say you have a promotion or something you want to just pretty much once it's done plays again. We just will go ahead and activate that option. But I'm going to turn it off and automatically he says here coming up next is the Come and Get It by Scott Holmes song. So the next button is pretty much stop after this track. So let's say we want to go ahead and listen to faded instrumental music and we want the play to stop. Pretty much just pause and stop playing. We just click on it one time and just like that it says coming up next there's no song because as soon as faded instrumental music is over it just stops playing. This option isn't very much used because um, you can just go ahead and stop it yourself. But let's say you're not on the air or you have pretty much you're logged into the computer via remote and you want to just make sure it stops playing after that song. You just go ahead and click that button and it right below it just has a little description of what it does. Stop after this track. So once on the air, uh, faded instrumental music finishes, coming up next, nothing. It'll just pretty much stop playing. Then the next button is what we like to call the shuffle button. We can actually have both turned on the stop and shuffle. But for the sake of video. We're just going to use the shuffle button. So let's say right now we have faded instrumental music is playing. We don't want it to go in order. So what it does is automatically just shuffles the programming. And coming up next, we have Little Idea, Scott Holmes playing. So that's the third song here in the queue. So I'm just going to fast forward to the next song. We have Little Idea playing by Scott Holmes. And then we have coming up next, Come and Get It by Scott Holmes again. So it's just pretty much it swaps it to shuffle button. So it just shuffles the song so it doesn't go in order. And then lastly, what we have is... The repeat playlist so this what it does is automatically let's say i only have four songs here and i want these four songs to play 24 7 until i get more music it automatically just once it's done it just shuffles it goes in order though so that's why it's a good idea to have the shuffle button so um it does basically the same thing but if you want it to repeat just as an order as you want it and you don't want it to shuffle let's say you have a promo a song a promo a song a jingle you want it to go in that order then you would use this last icon here to repeat the playlist and it'll go exactly in the order you're placed so i go next so the very first one is to repeat the song. The second one is so it stops programming. So let's say the faded instrumental music plays, it automatically just cuts the programming, it stops it. Then the third one would be the shuffle, and the last one would be to repeat the playlist. If you have any questions or comments in regards to this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we're happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.